when we built this house, we not only built it to be green, but we built it to, um, to be a laboratory where we could monitor it and learn, did we do things, did everything that we do work or did it not work? What didn't work and how could we change it? We had no idea how green he wanted to be. And as we progressed, he asked us to add more and more green attributes to the project. So we, we made decisions, for example, to change out most of the glass in the house. We re-insulated things even when it was difficult. We changed the way various other systems work so that we had control over the house. So when we leave, it was easy to make sure the house was, was at its minimal energy use if we weren't going to be there. We changed most of the light bulbs in this room to LEDs, cutting the power of each of these bulbs right above us from 50 watts apiece down to five. When we need power, the solar and the grid give us power. But when we make too much power, the solar feeds power back to the grid and it's probably that power is used by our neighbors. In the same way, solar panels on the roof can warm water for either heating the pool or for showers that we take or water that we use at the sink. Usually homes in this part of the country spend more than half their water not taking showers and washing dishes, but actually watering their gardens so, or the lawn. So we capture 15,000 gallons of water every winter, and then we pay it out slowly over the subsequent summer. We drive our cars by having a dashboard. Our biggest energy user is actually our home, and there's no dashboard for the house at all. So on my dashboard, I can see Basically, minute by minute, I can see a snapshot of the last hour. I can see a snapshot of the last week, last month, or the last year. The solar output over the course of the year shows weakest in the middle of winter when we have the least sun and the most in the middle of summer. The energy usage one that I have shows me that we were able to get better over the last year by changing our habits and changing out lights. Going green on any building project should be affordable for any homeowner. whether they're energy efficient appliances, low flow toilets, no VOC paints, better insulation in their walls, a more durable roof, all of these different aspects should be incorporated in the design of a home. So was it exciting? Absolutely. This house has been just a joy to live in. It's been fun to show to people when they come over. And it's been satisfying to know that we're really succeeding in this, in this leading edge of, of how we'll all change.